Rockkey have sent us this PS16 in-cylinder pressure transducer for us to have a try. It basically goes from minus one to 16 bar and that's on a five volt scale. So um, we're gonna plug it in, set it up with a custom probe and have a look at what we think. So this is the transducer. It's quite a small sensor and it's only got the one range. This is the uh, connector and then this end is what screws into your adapter. As for adapters, they send us a kind of flexi hose, which they kind of ask you to avoid using if possible, because they also send you these kind of solid extensions. And, and what they ask you to do is, is put in um, the extension as, as short as possible, okay? So maybe in a follow-up video, we will compare the flexi hose to the, the solid adapters. Um, you also get a converter for your 14 millimeter spark plug. So the smaller spark plugs like we have on this mini. So the, the later type. So this is the cable it comes with and that will connect onto the sensor. Okay, so you just plug that in and screw that down. We've got an external power supply. So just connect that up to your 12 volt battery. It will go up to 25 volts. And then we've got our BNC connector to connect up to our oscilloscope. So let's connect it all up. I'm going to use the flexi hose for this test and just put that adapter on for this spark plug and screw that in there. We can then screw the pressure transducer onto the end of that flexi hose. And the reason I'm doing the flexi hose is because I did a test with this one recently and with another tool and that was also using the flexi hose so we can see how they compare and then we'll connect that power supply up there we'll then just connect this up to the battery so red to red and black to black we'll then connect the bnc end up to our oscilloscope what I'm also going to do is disconnect the Valvetronic motor because on this engine it has the Valvetronic system where the throttle is basically controlled by varying the amount that the valves open, okay, and the throttle valve stays wide open. So we don't see any of the valve events as easy. So I'm disconnecting that so it runs like a conventional engine via the throttle. That just means that we'll also pick up some of the inlet manifold vacuum. So what we're going to need to do is set up the probe in a PicoScope or whichever oscilloscope software you are using. So on PicoScope 7, we can go to probes. And if we go to the bottom, we've got add, okay? Because this sensor isn't, isn't included um, in the software. So what we're going to call it is a uh, rocked key PS. 16. Uh, the units we're going to set it up in bar but you can make your own conversions to PSI if you prefer using that and here we've now got the options to set it up as a equation or a table. Now I like using the table especially for the linear um, setup of the you know the voltage versus pressure. So where do we get that from? If you go over to the Rockkey website and go onto the PS16 sensor, when we scroll down, we get some data on the sensor, some use of it um, on other vehicles. So a lot of their videos are in Ukrainian. Some of them have been translated. We, we get this graph here. This is what we're looking for. So importantly, zero volts equals minus one bar, 0.294 equals zero bar, and then five volts equals 16 bar. So basically we've got 17 bars of pressure measured between zero and five volts. So that's 3.4 bar per one volt measured on the sensor. So if we go back to here, we've got minus one is zero, 0 0.294 is zero bar. We'll just change this to table. We go to inputs zero, is minus one, press enter. The next one will be 0 0.294 is zero bar. And then we want to put in the final one there, five volts is 16 bar. And just remember to hit enter on the last one, okay? 
Then if we go to next, this is if you want to set up any bandwidth limitation and auto ranging, we'll just leave it as it is. And now we've set up that scale for that sensor. So you can see here, this is zero bar, okay, where this line is at the minute. Uh, it goes all the way down to minus one and it goes up to 16 bar on the side here. So we're on 20 milliseconds per division. Uh, the rock key probe is set up. We're plugged in and ready to go. Let's start the engine and see what we get. Okay, so we start the oscilloscope now. Okay, there we go. We can see we've got a waveform on the screen. Let's just put a trigger in there for an auto trigger. The engine's not running very well at the minute. It might cut out. So let's just increase that there. Time base up to 100, 200 milliseconds. And then let's stop it there. On the subject of learning, make sure you come and check out mechanicmindset.com where we've got some free training, giving you over two hours of free training videos plus access to all of the PicoScope waveform files that we use on the Mechanic Mindset YouTube channel. Okay, so let's take a look in a little bit more detail. Um, I'm just going to zoom into that there and we can see that we've actually got quite a nice waveform there. We're showing a maximum pressure going up to around 5.2 bars and we can see all of the valve vents there. So if we pull up the phase rulers and let's just roughly mark those out so we can see the four events here. So this would be our expansion, this is our exhaust here and then intake and compression. So um, you might be looking at this thinking that the waveform looks a little bit funny compared to um, some other uh, systems. It's probably because this is running in a fault mode at the minute with that valvetronic motor disconnected. Um, if we put this ruler down to the zero line, we can see that we've got you know, exhaust back pressure there running at zero bar. So the um, sensor itself looks pretty good. In fact, what we can do is have a look at a similar waveform. So this is what I captured recently with the uh, WPS 500 a few weeks back. And uh, you can see that we get a similar waveform. Okay, so, you know, this is coming in at round about five bar. Again, this similar kind of pressure for this engine. Remember, it was in a fault state. I think this one actually had all the variable valve timing disconnected as well, which, which might explain why it looks a little bit different again. However, as far as that sensor goes, it is pretty good considering that it's only $90. And um, one thing to consider, that's pretty much all you're gonna be able to do with it is, is petrol engines because it only goes up to 16 bar. If, you're, if you want to measure diesel engines, you're gonna need something a little bit more uh, than 16. For example, the um, Ditex and the PicoScope sensors go up to 500 PSI or 35 bar. And it's also gonna be a bit more difficult to measure low pressures accurately. So um, that's just one to consider. But for in-cylinder pressure testing, you know, as a quick look like this, it's pretty good.